Hey folks, this is Vagrant and welcome to our next brand new playthrough. We're going to play the recently released Stray, although by the time you see this it may not be that recent. Either way, we're going to play Stray, uh, the cat game, really. That's what it is. It's the cat game. It's a post-apocalyptic techno RPG cat game. And I've heard really, really... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I've heard really, really good things. Um, it kind of seems like a bit of a meme, really, but then the reviews come out and it's all overwhelmingly positive and people are in love with it. It isn't that long, so it won't take us that long to get through. And uh, yeah, I want to give it a go. Let's go. I just say how much I appreciate that they got the lightning and thunder correct. Hello! <laughs> okay. Hello, cat friend. <laughs> oh. I will play with all the cats, of course. Ginger cat. What are we doing? Okay. There we go. Game over. Done the important stuff. Oh, he sits. All right. Come on, buddy. Let's have a look around. Oh. Oh, it's nap time, apparently. Sounds like a good idea. A good solid nap to start the day. Okay, we're inside the wall, seemingly, probably guarding the city. It's actually a beautiful looking game. I love this, <laughs> this uh, thick, post-apocalyptic, concrete looking. It's not post-apocalyptic, but it's definitely a, a bit of a ropey future. There's a Mew button, a Meow button. Amazing. Okay, well, let's go on a little cat adventure. Come on, gang. 
<laughs> oh, I love it so much. Oh, I can zoom. I can meow. Got my important things. I can jump. Press B. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, cat friend. What squad? I'm not sure what the point of the game or anything is, but does it have to be a point? I guess not, really. The, the jump is interesting, because I don't get the feeling it's... Um, I can't like jump as I walk around. It's, it's a contextual jump. I jump onto that. However, I think I can jump onto everything, which is great and very cat-like. What are you doing? Scratch tree? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Gotta keep my claws sharp, you know? You never know what's out there, folks. You never know. That tree's mine now. Just so you want. I need to I need to urinate on it. Okay. <laughs> it does feel like a stray pack of random cats. On their little adventures, it's absolutely gorgeous. If it had the feel of a game that might be like shovelware a little bit, you know, it just doesn't seem to be the case. Is that a drink? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've got to stay hydrated, especially in this bloody heat. Although it has broken today, it's a little bit cooler. It's nice. Always time for a little rope, you know. Good hit. I, I'm a really big fan of this kind of like the, that chunky concrete style of architecture as well. I really like it, especially when it's overgrown like this. It's it's absolutely my kind of aesthetic, you know. Cat journey. I don't believe you spend the entire game with cat friends, however, which makes me nervous. I love that you can just jump on everything. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Human personnel only. No cats are that way. Human personnel only, though. That's interesting, because I'm assuming they don't mean cats. <laughs> That's not what they're concerned about. Who knows? Maybe they are. Yeah, I, as far as I know, you don't have a cat gang for the entire game, so it does concern me a little bit. Like, what happens to the cat gang? Who knows? <laughs> I need to name them all. Alright, the, the white one's called Timothy. The black one's called... Gertrude. And the other ginger one is called... Vesuvius. But I don't name them, right? The humans named them. No, wait, no. The humans named them initially, but then the cats have taken back their own names. Hey, Gertrude. Timothy. I can call you V for sure, okay? We'll hope you get a vendetta at some point, <laughs> I guess. Absolutely beautiful. Good job, Timothy. That's Vesuvius, wasn't it? It was, yes. I'm sorry, for Vesuvius. I'm sorry, Timothy. I'm just terrible with names. I really am. It's not, it's, not, it's not a strong point for me. Oh, careful, cat gang. Oh, no, maybe this is where it happens. Kitty cat! Oh no! <laughs> My kitty cat needs a name. Meow. 
Yay! Well, it's Ginger, or the redhead, depending on your... Oh, it's limping! I have a little poke around. This is a spooky old place. What else is ginger? Or red? Fire. Ginger nuts. Nuts. Brazil. Carnival. Presume <laughs> word association. Oh no! Carnival! Temporary name. <laughs> Feeling better. Your name shall be. I don't know. I need to get a feel for its personality. I think we'll, we'll name it by the end of the uh, by the end of the video. I want to go in there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not convinced. I just play with the can instead. In the back. City! Jeez! Absolutely stunning. Oh, we might play Cyberpunk. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Dead City. Well, that's an optimistic name. This game's awesome. <laughs> Can I just point that out? <laughs> it's just, there's something about being in this little perspective as a cat that's just making me very happy. I feel like a cat. You know? Just because of the perspective and the size of the city above me and being able to meow at everything. <laughs> Climb on everything. They're watching me. They don't know what I know. <laughs> Just having <laughs> a button you can press at any time to mew is, uh, is fantastic. Are those things? Oh no! You okay, buddy? It's a robot. Okay, well that must be what they mean by uh, humans only, right? It's was, it was no robots. I know cats, but probably mainly no robots. Can I have some milk, please. No. <laughs> Just jump on everything. Because <laughs> why not? You know? Can I jump over that maybe? It's a very quiet city. Human personnel only and no trumpets. Trombones? I'm going to go with trompone. Can I knock the, I knock the thing off? Let me try it. <laughs> I mean, I'm a cat, right? <laughs> it's, it's what cats do. Oh no. This is so my aesthetic, it really is. It's like they knew me when they made this game, it's crazy. I feel like they're talking to me. <laughs> the cat god or something is luring me. And they are watching, but why do they matter so much? I'm a cat. I mean, cats are cool, but 
why would I be worth this much attention as a cat, you know? I got a little bucket! <laughs> right, bucket, you and me. We're going to the end now, okay, buddy? <laughs> What if the book is important somehow? Oh, maybe it actually is. Okay. Good job, Bucket! <laughs> I just want to take the Bucket with me. I wasn't really thinking about use, but um, that makes sense. Okay, so we've got some environmental... I mean, yeah. <laughs> of course we're going to do all of them. If I'm going to be a cat, I'm going to be a cat. If it is on shelf, it will no longer be on shelf. Those are the rules. Where should I go? I get the feeling the game won't let me, like, hurl to my death, so... No. Oh. Follow me. Whoa, whoa, careful, little cat, careful. Good job, buddy. Oh, maybe we do this. Break that open the glass. Nice. Good stuff. I thought I found like a little secret, but uh, what was this? Oh, right. <laughs> it's something to scratch. Of course it is. <laughs> what else would it be, eh? <laughs> Gotta be repped. Gotta be repped. Gotta be prepped and ready. Maybe I have like a little nap first. Let's sit down, buddy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> This thing's the knock. <laughs> Get out of here. Man, this must have been such a fun game to make. What do I look like? I look like a Tommy. Tibby. Tibbet. Tibbles. Tibbles! My name's Tibbles. I'm going to Tib for short. A little drink. Tibbs. My name's Tibbs. Mr. Tips. I was named by the humans, but I used to love my humans, so I kept the human name. <laughs> it's so cute. It really is. I just want to climb everything, you know? There's no reason for me to come up here, except I'm a cat, <laughs> and I feel like that's what I would do if I was a cat. Oh no, he's still alive! Mr. Rubit! Oh no! Robot friend. Mr. Tibbs will save you all. Something's going to wrong with the robots and these little these little head crab things. They really do look like head crabs. Delicious head crabs, right from the seas. Every game should have a, a, a meow button. Even, like, Call of Duty, you know?
Oh. Hold, run! Oh, dear God! <laughs> They're everywhere! Oh my God, they actually are everywhere. This is terrifying. Run, Mr. Tips, run! <laughs> run, Mr. Tips! Get off me, you numpty. They're not head crabs, they're cat crabs. You're not taking Mr. Tips alive. Oh, nearly died there. I'm trying to juke them, I promise. I'm gonna try a bit harder to juke them. It's hard, because I'm trying to look at how pretty the environment is at the same time. Bloody Nora. Yeah, give yourself a good scratch, Mr. Tips. You've earned it. That's weird. It's like Stranger Things. <laughs> Gurken. Problem. No problem with you, buddy. That's an intimidating gurken right there. Yo. Yo. It's misty, it's dark, it's concrete, it's neon lights, it's all the things I love most in the world. There we go. <laughs> Can't proceed if there's a bucket, obviously. Oh. I'm uh, 22 minutes in. I've not made a single smelly cat reference yet. I guess I haven't really had the opportunity. It wasn't the sewers earlier. Maybe that would have been the time. I need something smelly to happen to my cat, basically, and then I can sing the song. Hello. Around first. There's something nice about help. Um, this game, I was gonna play it on the main channel actually, funnily enough, on, on the Best and Slot channel, I should say. Um, <laughs> and uh, I didn't, partially because the game proved to be much more popular than I expected. There's a lot of big name, you know, Rad Brad kind of people, these big name YouTubers all playing it. And I thought, well, there's just no point in me playing it, no we'll watch it. Which I'm pretty sure would have turned out to be true. But um Wait, I had I had a point to make. Oh right, yeah. But in a way, you know what and I kinda of felt it back when um I first played Mass Effect on the channel. I kinda of felt like I had to rush through it and kinda of hurry and get things done. Not on this channel. I played Mass Effect three on the Best of Slot channel back in the day. Um it's nice being able to take your time. I don't know if I could have done this if I was playing it day one on the main channel. You know what I mean? Mr. Tips knows what I mean. It gives me a freedom that I wouldn't usually have, I guess. Oh, what is... Oh, it's a window. <laughs> it's, it's like some magical tech portal. October 11th. Okay, well, we know what day it is. Although, it's saying that October 11th could have been just the day that things went to hell. Can I climb inside? <laughs> I want to climb inside. Ah, October 11th could have been the day if we went to hell. Whatever did happen here, I'm sure we'll piece it together over time. Oh my god, amazing! Wait, I wonder if I need this for the quest, for like progression. I actually might do, you know. Climb on that, yeah, and then. Mm. Oh, it's like a help thing. Yeah, you have to roll the. I, I'm doing all these things that a cat would do for fun, <laughs> and it just happens to be actually the right thing to do anyway. Which I think is a good example of good game design. Because oftentimes in games you'll do things that you think logically, I would never do that, right? But you can do it because you think that's what the game expects you to do. Whereas really, you shouldn't do something in a game unless your character would do it. 
So the fact that I'm doing things just because I think that's what a cat would do, and it happens to be the right thing to do, is a, it's a positive sign, I would say. That makes sense. I know there are, um, I don't know much about the game, but I know there's collectibles and stuff, so. I am trying to keep an eye out. I don't know if I've just missed them. I'm not like trying to be obsessive about it or anything, but I'd like to, to find something. A little spooky down there. Oh, miss the tips. Oh, oh, no, miss the tips. cats acted in this game. complaint so far is that the neon keeps turning off because the neon is obviously meant to guide me the correct direction to go but I love the neon and I want it on all the time come on first he's in order Yeah, so when you meow, it seems to activate the the guide, I guess, that tells you where to go. I'm just doing it because it's cute. <laughs> That's plenty of reason to do anything, right? Oh, oh, careful tips. Oh, I don't mean to go this way, though. Oh god, I've just undone everything. Good job, Tibbs. Isn't that absolutely beautiful, Buckets? Absolutely gorgeous. Misty lighting and neon lights is just such a classic for good reason. Or misty environment and neon lighting, I should say. Absolute classic. Hmm. Get through here. Ah. Is there a photo mode? I don't thought about that. Um. No. <laughs> this is a game that is crying out for a photo mode. Maybe I unlock it later, but there isn't one right now. Of a battery. I say that with me. <laughs> you never know, foes. Never know. Wait, where'd it go? Battery, no! <laughs> the flat. Okay. Oh, my beloved battery. Hello, shelves. <laughs> my mortal nemesis. That's actually the right way. <laughs> oh man, I'm actually in love. It's crazy. Can yeah, I was about to ask, can I knock that over somehow? Clearly no one's been here for a while. 
Oh, gotta scratch it. If it exists, it shall be scratched, or licked, or peed on. I got my priority straight. I haven't even had a cat in a long time. I used to have cat. We used to have fudge and smudge back when I was a kid. Fudge was brown and smudge was white with like black markings. Very inventive names. Need help. <laughs> Body required for download. Body required. Put the camera in the top left. Enter the door, turn on, find a body. Okay, so have people maybe been putting their minds into rubits? Could be a thing. <laughs> Guessing I need to charge this thing up. I'm a very talented cat. Uh, there's one up there. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. Ah, okay. Let's pull that out at the right time. That stops that. And that lets me jump up there. Beautiful. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> no, wait, it's up there. Uh, it's just uh, up here, up here. Hello. Ah. Oh, they're nodding at me. They approve of my actions. The tech gods, or whatever's going on. Okay. What earth is going on? Oh, hey. Oh, you don't look in good shape, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're looking in worse shape now. What is this? Drone companion? Right, let me let me go in the box first. <laughs> let me in the box. <laughs> I know what I know my rights as a cat. Do I pick this somewhere else? Ah, okay. I'm free, thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I knew I worked for a scientist who lived here. For now you can call me B12, that's what it says on my exterior. <clears throat> it's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. That key unlocks the door? I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Oh, thanks, B12. Very good. 
Watch me low already. Come over here. Okay. You're going to have to put this on. Oh my god, I've got a little backpack. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh my god. What am I doing? Why am I slinking? Why am I strutting? <laughs> oh, there we go. The backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? I think it's... Yeah, I'm just kind of overacting to the weight. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Okay, well, this is not what I expected. Sensors detecting memory data at proximity. So I imagine that's one of the... Uh, that's the uh, collectibles we're on about. So I'm keeping an eye out for that like tropical scene. I assume that's what, that's the idea, right? The keys. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Got my little backpack. Adorable. <laughs> you see him hiding in there as well. Yeah, how do I save? 30 seconds, perfect. Um, I'm gonna keep this as a relatively short series. It'll probably be a bit longer than this on average. I have to go as that happens. But I know this isn't a particularly long game. We're talking maybe five, six hours, depending on how far you are on the collectibles. Um, some people even less. So I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna be done in four or five episodes. I'd rather be done in 10, 11 episodes because that just feels a lot nicer as a series. And that way I don't have to waste time making a thumbnail for an episode for a series that lasts one week. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really cute little game. Clearly some darker tones underlying everything as well. There's a meow button, which is amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. The aesthetic really works for me. I'm really excited to check out the rest of it. Come back tomorrow and we'll do just that. Thank you for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.